currently it is just like uh, how we started earlier on experiencing the COVID-19 and how it affected the business. So it is still the same. Even though the government has actually given us green lights, like you can have conference, you can have meeting for 100 people, but still we are not getting business. Because, you know, um, if you look at what is happening, people are also careful of going out there to do whatever they want to do. So um, currently business is not booming the way it used to be. Of how a day at Alisa Hotel is like when you come to work, how is it like in here? Currently, it is it is really quiet here. Uh, when comparing to how Alisa Hotel used to be when it comes to conferences and accommodation, it's really quiet nowadays. Um, hardly before you see people walking into the hotel to come and make inquiries. But then, what is happening right now? They are calling to ask about room rates and then conferences as well. But it's not like how it used to be. So we are, we are just hoping for the best. Although restrictions are gradually being eased, it's still the same. How many people walk in here in a day? In a day, when you look at averagely, let's say six, seven, between six and seven a day. Compared to how many people back then before COVID-19 came in? Back then it was traffic. Sometimes you get about 100 people a day to walk in to come and make inquiries for both accommodation and conference. So right now we have actually re reduced the number of people we take per conference room. Uh, typical example is the Ridge Arena, whereby uh, under normal circumstances can actually take about 400 people. Now when you come to classroom situation, let's say when you want to do a classroom setup, we look at the social distancing and also take into con consideration the two meter uh, distancing when we are doing the setup. And also uh, we try to sanitize, let's say disinfect all the conference rooms before we do the setup. Uh, we provide them with hand sanitizer when they are coming in. Uh, it is compulsory that all of them put on nose uh, mask before they walk into the conference rooms. We check their temperature on arrival. We make sure they wash their hands and all that before you, they, they access the conference rooms. What about your rooms? Are you observing the various protocols in the rooms? Yes. The people who come in to visit, do you ensure that you know they observe the various protocols? How do you do that? So currently, uh, what we, have, we are all seeing right now is the new uh, rules that have actually come out. So when you go to guest rooms, uh, what is happening right now is all guests coming into the hotel, we, we see them as, you know, the people who already have the COVID. So we try as much as possible to uh, put certain measures in place. When it comes to cleaning of the rooms, our staffs are really covered. Uh, we disinfect all the rooms whenever guests checks out of the rooms. And also, uh, when it comes to the... Uh, waste that the guests are producing from their rooms. Uh, we are managing it in such a way that when it gets out there, people touching it will not be infected. So we, we are really doing what we are supposed to do to make sure that we protect everybody, both the guests and the staff working in the hotel.